Shalom. All right, hey, Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Yashala. Salakia, just setting this up real quick. All right. Shalom, Shalom. Coming out here through the Spirit, power, grace, and blessings of Adam Wanawa, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. It's going to preach the gospel, the good news unto our people, the 12 tribes of Israel, Yahshua Allah. But first and foremost, as always, we're going to start off by facing the East and give all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Yahweh in the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Holy Hebrew tongue, which means He is, He to be, He exists. Baha Sham in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Which means he is salvation. He is the deliverer. He will deliver the remnant, the elect of his people, according to biblical prophecy, here in these latter days. In the name of the Holy Spirit. And double honors, salutations to the elder apostles, the sincere elder apostles, the elder bishops, the GMS Great Millstone, the like minded, sincere elders and brethren that are under the umbrella, preaching and teaching this word in all truth and sincerity across the four winds, risking your lives and freedoms to do so, making your bodies a burnt offering and a living sacrifice. And the names of Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai. So to you we say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom Yahweh Ba Shim Peace and salutations under the hopeful elect, the house of David, the tabernacle of David, consisting of the 12 tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, and Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad, those who derive from the sea line of our forefather Jacob through Abraham and Isaac. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of. May you seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. And Shalom to the Akim and the Akiawath brothers and sisters who may tune in. Lord's will, this lesson will be edifying, comforting, exhorting to the hopeful elect of Israel and keep fighting the good fight of faith. All right? And it looks like uh, the brother Tahawam Lahab, Yahweh Bashim El Shah Brakta. That's right. Peace and blessings unto you in your household, Malak. Keep pushing strong in the spirit. Baba Kashah, check out the beautiful brother Tahawam Lahab. All right? Going hard in the paint in the names of Yahweh Bashim El Shah. And that's what we're here to do, right? I don't know to continue to push this word, this gospel, because we see all the signs, the tokens that the Heavenly Father has given us, right? uproars earthquakes in diverse places right here in uh, california just recently had a, a earthquake a 4.2 i believe and the epicenter was in malibu right and then you have these uproars of the people uprisings of the people right not only what's taking place in france right switzerland belgium and from what reports are saying what the brothers are going into man and through the group chat is that up in canada now you have things turning up man right and what's next babylon america right that's what's next babylon america all right so to be continued with every day that the Heavenly Father is blessing us with, He's giving us many signs and tokens to realize what? That the, the end draweth nigh, all right? Yeah. That we are at the end of this bitter captivity and the end of Esau of Edom, the self-proclaimed so-called white man's rulership, right? God, God, exactly, man. And just like you were uh, saying in the beginning, man, us making our bodies a, a, a living uh, burnt sacrifice, you know, yep. an yep. offering, yep. because we're going through this, this fire, this trial of affliction, yep. you know? And we're seeking that reward that's on the other side. Also, even on this side, seeking the, the mercies and, and the deliverance through the power of Yahweh Hashem You know, being that safe tower. Mm -hmm. But looking for that deliverance, that's what we hasten unto. That's what we pray for is that shorter days, man. Yep, gone. Pray for fewer days. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Going pursuant to 2nd Ezra chapter 2, right? Also going into the book of St. Matthew, right? Gone, you know, gone. unless those days be shortened. No, and there. I believe uh, in that blue letter, that word hasten goes into, uh, um, you know, to hurry up. So so we're trying to hurry up the process, man, yep. by, you know, preaching these prophecies and, and hopefully, uh, you know, making it expedient, man. God. Yeah, that book of Second Peter chapter 3, that's the spirit. Went in on that little last night and that term uh, hasten also goes into to eagerly await. Right? Mm -hmm. We are eagerly awaiting, right, the, the return of our Lord and Savior. Come on, Shia, Kiel, Shai. God. But I'm going to get into a little bit of a uh, second measure uh, seven here. All right, Bob Kishaw, you want to get, get that? Con. Say verse six. All right, Con. Go on, Con. A reading from the book of second measure, chapter seven and verse six. There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of good things. Con, Con, and that's that kingdom, man, that we're waiting for. What yep. does it say that the kingdom is prepared for you? Uh, just watch, mm -hmm. you know, roughly paraphrasing. But that's yep. the kingdom of Yerushalayim, yep. you know? Right that's the kingdom where righteousness will dwell because everyone will be subject to the powers of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai ruling over the earth. Yep. Uh, that's right, man. It's just roughly paraphrasing that I go to prepare a place for you. What's said of our Lord and Savior, right? God. God in that, that city build it, man. It's, uh, you know, starting now with the Akim and the Akiwa, the Tabernacle of David being risen up, 
you know, uh, built up in these latter days. Mm -hmm. And also going into uh, Revelation 21, where it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I saw, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Right, right. That's so right. that New Jerusalem, how you doing, brother? Right, so that New Jerusalem coming down from those chariots, man. Yep. You know, after the deliverance from the destruction here in Babylon and in different parts of the world, man. Yep. But, you know, that bride is the, uh, the elect, you know? It's that one-third remnant being prepared and adorned. Uh, and that word adorned goes into, uh, I believe it's uh, beautified. You know, beautified and, and meekness and righteousness, being prepared for Yahweh Shai to come for the taking, man. John, mm -hmm. John. You know, Bubba Shai, let me add on to that thought. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For thenceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. That's right, man. So the uncircumcised, the unclean, all will know, right? We have the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts. Once our people are given those new bodies, right? Celestial bodies with spiritual power. You start God, upon us, starting with the remnant, the elect. God, and that's part of that new heaven and new earth, man. Yep. Because that new earth is going to be run with righteousness, man. It's going to be through the, you know, the how we die, the how we're reigning here on the earth, man. You know, among us. Yep. And given those new bodies. You know, immortal bodies, man, and the earth being restored. But that new heaven being the heaven on earth here, as it speaks on in Matthew 6. But that heaven on earth being the heaven uh, here for the Israelites, man, being empowered, man, being uh, delivered from these uh, these bodies, man, these chains of darkness. Mm -hmm. God, God, God. God. And that, that, you know, right now, these heathen, Esau, Edom, so-called white men, his heaven is now, man. Yep. But we're at the end of it. Yep. We're seeing the chaos, the destruction, Satan rising against Satan, mm -hmm. kingdom against kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. And we're we're being overjoyed, the hopeful elect, because we know what time it is, man. We know that that alarm clock is up, man. Yep. And it's time for Yahweh Shai to rise up to the fray. God, that's right, man. And the elder Yahweh Kala Nap was going in on that earlier too. I believe it was the book of uh, Saint, uh, Daniel. I believe it was chapter seven, if I'm not mistaken. Going in on how, uh, you know, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, his look was more stout than his fellows, right? So you have all these other European Edomites, right? These other nations that are going to rise up and ultimately launch nukes, man. They're going to hit that button and they're going to come up, man. The beast shall hate the whore also is spoken yeah. over the book of Revelation, right? We're going back one more thought on that, uh, that bride, right? Israel be likened unto a delicate and comely woman. And that term comely means beautiful, right? So again, man, our Lord and Savior, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, that's the, uh, the, the groomsman, right? So this is a God, God, and you know that just going back on that second Ezra seven and six, uh -huh. you know it's uh, full of good things. You know, yep. thinking of that that scripture where it says uh, uh, where where rest is allowed. Yep, and, God, and, that's right, man. And the truth which has been so long without fruit, you know, shall or uh, roughly paraphrasing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a child. Roughly, I don't want to butcher that. So Salakia, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but uh, you know what? Back here. Let me grab this real quick. I, I don't know if it's all got that too. Uh, uh, God, if uh, when the Akia on the, on the board there can drop that precept, but I appreciate it. I'll uh, I believe that's uh, Second Ezra chapter four. But yeah, let me grab uh, Second Corinthians. Going back to that bride, right? Uh, Second Corinthians eleven and two says, "For I am jealous over you with the godly jealousy." And that term jealous also goes into having a zeal, being moved to anger, right? So the heavenly Father, man, right? Just as a man would be, have a zeal, man, right? That passion, that love for his wife, right? Or for his children, right? So again, the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, they're moved, that that zeal, they're moved to anger for, for the remnant of the elect and the entire nation of Israel as a whole, right? But again, 2 Corinthians 11 and 2, for I am jealous over you with the godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, right? I have espoused you, I have betrothed you, I, yeah, you are yeah, given. You know, we yeah. belong to Yahweh Shai. Yep. Because he is the one that inherits it all, man. Yep. You know, oh, the only begotten son, he is to inherit it all from the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And we belong to those. That's why 
in John 10, it says, no man shall pluck them out of my hand, which the Father has given unto me. Yep. God. God. Absolutely. Uh, finish up that verse, 2 Corinthians 11 and 2. It says again, for I am jealous over you with the godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Hamashiach. Right. So again, man, not being defiled, right? You know, being washed by the blood of the lamb, washed by the word, this water, this living water, and ultimately uh, coming back to this one truth. Gone, gone, and going through that that fire, man. You know, being cleansed, yep. being, being uh, you know, being made whole, man, by this word also, you know, mm -hmm. where we see that all these things that, that we thought that meant anything to us actually don't mean anything, man. They're all gonna be gone away with and forgotten, man. But this one truth, man, being everlasting, man, and pertaining to our salvation. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, we'll check the board real quick before we continue. <laughs> That's his bear. Hey, Shalom. All right, Dad Garments from Basra. Y'all by Shemel Shab Rakatah. That's yeah, it's the brother Kasad. And uh, brother Mashak, y'all by Shemel Shab Rakatah. Wa'atam to you and the brothers out there in the UK. Y'all by Shemel Shab Rakatah to you and all your households, man. Keep pushing strong. Keep going hard in the paint, man. All right, all you beautiful brothers, man. And you beautiful sisters as well. The sincere. Believers, right? That's what we're. That's, hey, man. Every day, man. The heavenly Father's giving us tokens. All praises to Yahweh, Shimei, Shimei, for this, man. Right? And then uh, let's go back. You know, again, now speaking on that destruction, right? We know that those good things, man. Right? Again, speaking of that Second Ezra seven and six, right? Going into those good things, man. You know, this land must be cleansed, right? Babylon, America must be destroyed. The earth must be purged, right? As for ourselves, right? We must be purged of these things, but. You know, for the two thirds that do not make it on this side, man, they're gonna come back in, in the right mind, in the right spirit, right? But again, this land is, is no longer gonna be defiled in that sense, man, right? It's gonna be purged out of, out of that wickedness, right? Hey, go ahead and I Oh, yeah, let me just grab something real quick. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 4 and verse 28. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Right, so the evil is sown, right? It has flourished as the scriptures. Khan, but, but the destruction, that day of destruction has not happened yet, man. Mm -hmm. and that's what we're hastening. Yep. But we know that uh, the sins of Babylon have reached unto the heavens. According to, uh, what is that, Revelation uh, 18? No, nope, there's sins that have reached unto the heavens, Khan. Khan, absolutely. So continuing on now, in uh, Second Ezra 4. That's right, man, and we're, we're here watching all the dominoes fall, you know? Just waiting for that last one. Right. Yeah, let's grab uh, 2nd Ezra 4 and 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, which is Babylon America primarily, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Right, man. So if this place is not destroyed, if this place is not purged of that wickedness, right, then cannot come that is sown with good. That's the right. kingdom. That's right, man, and that's why these days, these times are being sped up for the elect's sake. Yep. Otherwise, there'd be no flesh to save. Yep. That's God. right. So that's why we're seeing uh, wickedness abound at an all-time high. You know, pure evil out here, man. We're seeing these, uh, you know, different types of, uh, you know, famines, inflation, different types of things happening right now, man. We're seeing uh, yep. the, the alphabet gang go, going crazy, man. Yep. You know. All wickedness is abounding right now, but that's in order to bring that destruction, man. Yep, gone, absolutely. And that bubble shot, let me just grab this real quick out of uh, Second Ezra chapter six. It's like I misquoted the chapter number. So uh, Second Ezra six and start at twenty-seven. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Right. So the deceit, man, that is constantly, you know, push and and uh, the enchantments. That witchcraft and so on and so forth. The many forms of deceit that this wicked damn devil, Esau of Edom, right, has put upon our people for from time and time again, right, shall be put out, shall be quenched, it shall no longer flourish. But what's that that shall flourish? Second Ezra 6 and 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. That's right, man. So again, those things shall be declared. All truth will be known throughout the land, right? There will be none other than the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that will be established upon the earth and in the righteous kingdom to come, right? 
and we look look forward to that, right? We hasten the day. Our people need healing. The earth needs healing, right? And we can't wait for this damn devil to get thrown out of power, man. I don't want to desire we're one day closer to the kingdom. All right, we'll get that next week. Come, come. We we'll get that. Go back to Second Ezra, chapter seven. Hey, how you doing? Yep, Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse seven. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. That's right, like, man. That's right. That entrance is narrow. Yep. And, you know, we need that that uh, light upon our path, you know? Yep. We need Yahweh Shem Shai to, to lead us, man. And we need the men of the Lord that are teaching in truth and sincerity to also be those leaders, man, the mouthpieces of the Adawan to help show us that this is the way to follow therein, man. Yep. But this is a, a narrow path, man, that mo most are not going to take. Yep. Yep, kind, kind. Yeah, in Bubba Shah, you want to pull up St. Matthew 7? We'll get 12 and 13, Bubba Shah. And yeah, now let me grab this real quick. Go back to, I'll reread 2nd Ezra 7 and 7. Now this is, uh, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. Right, man. So the straight narrow path, right? That straight gate, right? There's a fight. It's, it's just narrow enough to where you can go through, but only one at a time, right? Okay, you got fire on one side and a deep water on the other. All right. So you know that destruction, your own demise, right? Okay, it, it, one way or the other, that's how you're gonna go. Just like the old world, right? The or is, you know before Noah, right? Before it came the flood, right? So as they said, man, right? The the great flood. Okay, that was the ancient world, right? That was that perished all but eight souls. Right? And it's like that fire on the other side, right? Which will that will be the cleansing agent that comes to this to this in these latter days, right? Those those hypersonic ICBM missiles, man, and that laser chariot fire. So again, man, that speaks of that as well, right? But again, there's only room enough. It's like walking that that what do they call it? A balance beam, right? Like in gymnastics, right? Yeah, those cats that can walk that balance beam, walking that tightrope, right? Just like that Stevie Ray Vaughan. Walk the tightrope, right? Go ahead, bro, you got it. Uh, you said, uh, my, uh, say Matthew 7, seven and uh, let's get 12 and 13, Bob Shah. I believe it's 12 and 13. Or I can get it if you want, bro. And check the board real quick while the, uh, while the brother grabs that. And, uh, it, oh, that's the say, the water y'all bought me on shot for you, brother. Yep, yep, let's grab this. Uh, okay, yeah, Khan, hey, the brother grabbed that. The water my shock, y'all bought me on shot, brought a thought to you, brother. All right, yeah, Khan, Khan, let's get it. All right, come on. Beautiful. Uh, this is great. Uh, the water, brother. Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Right? And, and that, many there be which go in thereat. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that term straight, S-T-R-A-I-T, goes into a position of difficulty. Right? So we are placed, just like I mentioned, right? In that second Ezra 7. Right? A straight narrow path. You got a fire on one side, a deep water on the other being in a straight gate, right? A position of difficulty, right? So it's not gonna be an easy road, man, as, as the old saying, right? Easy street. It ain't gonna be, you know what I mean? It ain't gonna walk your way down to, you know, to easy street, man, to the kingdom. No, man, you gotta prove yourself. You gotta be tried through the furnace of adversity, the furnace of affliction, right? So again, that is being refined, man. We're being refined like gold, man, right? That golden wedge of Ophir, as the scriptures go into, man. The finest, most purest form of gold. Right. Khan, Khan is making any like man finer than the golden hey, uh, wild, golden wild. wedge of Ophir. That's right. Yeah, that's so, uh, this is uh, Matthew 7 and 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Woo. That's right, man. Yep. So the Lord, he's only dealing with a small remnant yep. as the scriptures speak of. Yep. You know, many are not going to be willing to pay the cost that it takes, man. You know, to make all those sacrifices necessary mm -hmm. as our our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach did. Yep. Khan, like that old saying in the world, right? Pay the cost to be the boss. Yeah, yeah man. Right. Well, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai pay the cost to be the boss, man. Through the powers of the Heavenly Father, of course, right? Okay. He was able to, to perform his lot, man, and fulfill it in all perfection, man, without ever sinning in the flesh, right? Yeah. And ultimately, willingly gave up his life, man, endured that. The will of the Heavenly Father, man. And that is why he sits at the right hand of the heavenly father now and eagerly awaits utter you know the the, the dominion of the of the earth and the kingdom to come 
going back into second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 8 God says and only and one only path between them both speaking of that fire on one side and a deep water on the other and it says again and only one and one only path between them both even between the fire and the water so small that there could be oh, it's like a there could but one man go there at once so one at a time man gone one at a time and you know you could liken that unto the similitude of uh uh, I believe it's in the book of John. Shaf, maybe if you remember the chapter, I believe it might be 10, mm -hmm. but where it speaks on uh, uh, one entrance, you know, mm -hmm. uh, through the door with Yahweh Shai, you know, that he is the entrance, right, yeah. unto the kingdom. And, and there is no other way, you know, all those that try to climb up, climb through the windows, try to creep in through the back door another way, uh, you know, they're not going to make it in, man. Yep. But there's only one entrance through. Hamashiach Yavashai, man, yeah. through that door. God. Yeah, you know, he's the doorkeeper. Yeah. yeah, man, let's grab that real quick, Baba Shah. Out of the book of St. John, and that was correct. St. Uh, St. John, let this pass the pig. Out of the book of St. John, chapter 10 and verse 1. Now it says, red letter, Hamashiach Yavashai speaking, it says, verily, verily, which means truly, truly, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. That's right, man. So this is the way, man. This is the way through that yep. straight gate, through yep. that position of difficulty, man. There is no other way, you know. You can't just uh, offer up a, a payment, you know, some, some, some money. Some this that yep. something uh, carnal, man, and to to get that, that spiritual reward. Yep. No, man. God. You're gonna have to go through the same fire and trial and affliction, man. Yep. As Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. And uh, I'll grab some of that real quick. Uh, in the spirit. Come. You're not uh, gonna leapfrog a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, right? That's right. You're gonna man. be able to get to the Father. They say no man can come in through the Father except but by through me. Roughly paraphrasing. Come, come, and that is the the true uh, uh, baptism, you know. Yep. You know, we are, are washed with the, the water, the word. Yep. But, but ultimately, now that true baptism is through that fire, man. God, I'll, and, say, uh, yep, I'll, yep, I'll, I'll grab that here. Uh, yep, this, this is uh, Matthew 3 and verse 11. And this is, uh, I believe, uh, John the Baptist. John the Baptist was speaking on this. On yeah, 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 the water. Yep. It says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. I mean, cause, right. you know what I'm because uh, Mashiach Yahweh Shai had, had a, 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 that lot to fulfill and ultimately had a, 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 bit, a large, uh, his lot, right? There was only one who could fulfill that lot, man. That was his only begotten, the Heavenly Father's only begotten son that could God, do that, right? God. And that was really the, the last baptism uh, by water, really, you know? Mm -hmm. Obviously, we were washed with the word, yep. which is likened unto water, but the last actual baptism uh, of water was when John baptized Yahweh Shai, man, mm -hmm. and when the Holy Spirit entered Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. John, and then uh, let me check the board real quick, Salakia, before we continue. And, uh, yep, Enduring Servant 144K, Yahweh Shai Brakata. Brakata. Brakim Tamya Rakya. And uh, Brother A, man, Brother Rayab, hey, Yahweh Shai Masha Brakata, Prince of the Power. Out there in Kentucky, Baba Kashai, just subscribe to these brothers, man. Very edifying, powerful brothers through the spirit of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. All right, I don't want to have to I'm grab some precepts in a second here, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It says, uh, I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, uh -huh. he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Woo! That's right, that fire again, tried through the furnace of adversity, the furnace of affliction, right? Enduring the same types of hardships, right? Not nearly to the same level that our Lord and Savior had to endure, yet we must, you know, our lots must be fulfilled in its in their entirety. And you know, as the scriptures say, man, right? Whatever the Heavenly Father brings upon you, man, you take cheerfully. Roughly paraphrasing, right? Come on, come on, so hey. I'm gonna grab a through the Spirit, Baba uh -huh. um, This is First uh, Peter, uh, four and thirteen, the NIV version. Wow. It says, uh, "But rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Hamashiach." So that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. Woo. That's right, man. Because we want to be uh, joint heirs unto Hamashiach. Yep. And he's going to receive that glory first. But we just want a little bit of that, man. A little bit to receive. 
need that salvation, man, that mercy. Yep. Yep, that's yep. right. Yeah, let's give scripture speak on that. I mentioned doorkeeper earlier, right? What does it say? It's better, it's better that I be a doorkeeper in the, in the kingdom, right? Than rule, you know what I mean? Roughly paraphrasing, right? Than any other thing that is carnal or upon the earth, right? So, again, man, that is much more worthy, man. Any position that the Heavenly Father could to bestow upon you in the kingdom, man, as part of that remnant, as part of that elect, right? And then I'll read that just in the KJV, just uh, to, to land back off the ark. But now, in uh, 1 Peter 4 and 13. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Exceeding joy. Joy that you can never imagine. Joy that exceeds everything you ever thought possible. All right? Point blank period, man. That's the kind of joy that we, I don't not desire, Lord's will, as, you know, not only for ourselves, but for the like-minded believers, the men, women, and children that are of the hopeful remnant, hopeful elect, right? For you and your households, I don't not desire, Lord's will. Right? So, so again, man, that is the type of, of promise, the covenant, those good things, right? Going back to that second Ezra 7 and 6, right? Okay, so with that, actually, it's uh, Salakia. Let me get the board real quick. Don't want to. I know your brothers are probably throwing up some heat, so Salakia. Yeah, let me grab this. Uh, beautiful brothers are posting up some fire for fire. All right, let's get this out of uh, Brother Tahuam Laab. Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, 2 and 5. For gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Woo! That's right, man. So again, working out those impurities, right? You got to be tried. You got to be battle tested, right? You know, you don't want some, uh, what's the old term, a greenhorn, right? You don't want some freaking, you know what I mean? Some, some Something that you know is not battle tested, is not quite ready to endure that, that true, gritty, you know, fight. You know what I mean? You want something that's proven. You want something that's consistent. You want to be found as that soldier. It's like, hey, I tested, I tested this person time and time again, right? God, the spiritual demon Satan kept and, coming out. Hey, him. man, and that's why the scriptures say, uh, with uh, with gray hairs comes uh, much wisdom. Yep. You know? And that's likened up to experience. Yep. Because we need experience going through all those difficulties, man. That resistance uh, in order to get stronger, man. Yep. And we know that uh, you know that we rejoice in those afflictions, man, because ultimately we know that. It's the out of one who's uh who sees something that we need to get stronger within, man. Something, an area that we're lacking. Maybe uh, brothers are, are losing focus and need to reshift their focus. Whatever it be, man. In order to uh, get us on that right path again, man. He's gonna shake things up, man. Yep. Gone. And it's gonna make you think and and make sure that you focus and, and realize what what's the ultimate thing is is pleasing the out of one yep. before anything, man. Con, con, absolutely. And I could like, speak on that uh, on my own testimony, man. You know what I mean? Like, as of late, man, as a lot of brothers have to work, man, and pull doubles and pull long shifts uh, all day in and day out, man, because we're subject to payments, right? And, and nothing's ever enough in this damn wicked ass queendom, right? But the point being, it's like you're working 10, 12 hour days, you got to work doubles, you got to work two jobs, so on and so forth, right? That could be very uh, consuming, right? Of your spirit, your time, your energy, right? However, what, what is that healing element? What's that ailment, right? What what brings you back that rejuvenation is, through the spirit is doing the work. Yeah. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh for that, man. You know, I feel better than ever right now, man. God. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. God, finding rest and comfort you know? in the word. You know? Absolutely, and that brings you joy. That brings you that, that true pleasure, man, because at, at the end of the day, we really have nothing to other than this word, this work, right, in this world, man, right? Nothing is, is, is truly uh, going to sustain you. And, or, and really, that's uh, tapping in uh, heavily in the spirit, man. It takes you away from all the carnal thoughts, man, of this mortal flesh. Yep. It, when you're out there at the altar, man, uh, it takes you away from everything, man. Yep. All those cares, all those things that might have been stressing you out, whether it's paying your bills, paying your rent, uh, your, your demon getting on you, yep. your woman, whatever it is, man, mm -hmm. uh, your children. Yep. All those things that, that are taking you from focusing on this, this word, man. Yep. When, when you're at the altar, man, you're tapped into the spirit, man. And yep. All you, praise hey, God, man, you know, for that. just gives you a taste of Adawan Ratzada, what it would be like in the kingdom, man. Gone. Absolutely, man. Because I know, like, last night, you know, I was able, through the spirit of Yabba Shemel Shai, drain, man, physically, right? But still, you know, the Heavenly Father moved me through the spirit to come out to the altar, man. Brought out a little, you know, little camp, little mini camp, if you will, right? Yeah. 
you know, knocked out, knocked out a shift today, man. Had to do the work, man. Then the brother Banal was like, hey, let's get out to the altar. So, like, hey, man, all praise the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh for that, man. And that was just a complete rejuvenation of energy through the spirit, man. Right? Wow. Ready to freaking, you know what I mean? Feeling a little, little sluggish after that long day, man. But then you, wow. you get out here, it's a whole different ball game, man. You feel a whole different type of life, man. That's right. All right? praises to you about Shim Yom Shai, man. All praises to you about Shim Yom Shai for that. Getting that ultimate charge out here, man. Yup. That's hey, right, and that's and that's board, the, and I must say the water to all you beautiful brothers as well for continuing to labor hey, and, and building each other up in the God, spirit because that's each other up and, and inspiring. That's right, uh, man. It's what contagious. Does it say? Uh, uh, promoting each other to uh, good works. Yeah, promoting each other into good works. That's, that's the spirit. Right. That's the spirit. Oh man, all praise to you, beautiful brothers, man. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Hey, let's get hey, this from the brothers, man. Well. That's right. Let's grab these from the brothers, man. And uh, brother uh, Mashak, uh, your house messengers. Yep, out of the UK, South London. Right, posted St. John chapter 10 and 9. Yep, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. That's right, but I'm beautiful. That's right, I am the door. He is the way, right? I'm the way, I'm the, I am the light, roughly paraphrasing that, right? Oh, done. So and again, that, that, that good pasture, you know, goes on to, uh, you could liken that unto that broad field that we read earlier, man. Yep. Or yep. even in, uh, what is that, Psalm 23? Oh, we can feel with good things, you know? Um, and while you grab that, let me let me pull this up from the brother Tahoam Laab, Job 23 and 10. says, But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Woo! That's right, man. That's right, I come forth as gold, baby. That's right, man. And let's get this from the brother, Prince of the Power. Beautiful brother out there in Lexington, Kentucky. Ecclesiastes Sorak 4 and 17. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment her with her discipline or torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws Woo! that's right man that wisdom is not a granted right that or not a given i should say right that is a gift that belongeth unto the heavenly father right as the scriptures say it is a gift that belongs unto the out of one y'all by shimmy shai right so again that is not a, a, something that's a, a, a given man you have to be given that man okay and again man you are going to be tried by that man are you going to apply these things, right? Because it's one thing to know it, but it's another thing to live by it, to, to exemplify it, if you will, if I'm using that term correctly, man. And to be an ambassador of Hamashiach Yahweh an ambassador of that wisdom, that gift that you were given, right? So to, to be able to apply it, right? You know, as the old saying, right, was that uh, Spider-Man, right? With great power comes great responsibility. And so, yeah, we, we're finding uh, that rest and that recharge here at the altar, man. Uh -huh. By diving into the scriptures, by making time to uh, read, to study, yep. you know, Gone. making uh, offerings into the one, man. Yep. Gone. But it really pulls us away from the, the mortal thoughts, man, the yep. cares of this world. Yep. But this is uh, Psalm 23 in verse 2. I'll just start at the top. The Adawan, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is my shepherd, I shall not want. Uh -huh. He yep. maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. That's right, man. And that term want goes into lack, right? So to want is to lack, right? So again, man, repeat that again, Bubba Kishan. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Right. So he's going to lead you where there's, there's a sustainability, right? You know, those pastures that lead unto fullness, right? And the still waters that... that, that True, yes, like it. That, that is, true living power, that true living water, man. That, that's, that's that the rest. Right? That's that rest, man. Yep. When you're at a, a, a you know, you're in a, a storm, mm -hmm. you're, you know, there's uh, waves going, rocking you to and fro, man. Yep. But that still waters is, is that calm path, man. Yep. That, that way that brings you peace. Con, exactly. And, and to, to land back and off that thought. Quietness. Yeah, con, and to land back off that thought, what is and, the sustaining you know, element? Your, your mind, is always uh, uh you know racing we have yeah. those thoughts here in the carnal flesh yep yeah constantly just worrying thinking uh -huh. stressing yep. but when you're tapped into the spirit or the scriptures man yep. it takes you away from that it provides and quiets your mind from that because you're tapped into the holy spirit man god and what's the sustainability for those pastures for that green for those trees that are planted by the river right the water right that that's true word that's so right. that's sustainability right mm -hmm. there man that's life Mm -hmm. Right? Got him. Uh, Psalm 23 and 3. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Woo! 
the, the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, for his holy name, and that of his only begotten son, right? Those holy names, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Those things, man, okay? That's why we are led unto this path of righteousness, man. For the holy, for the holy name's sake of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for him to right? Because again, he had given those names, the name of Yahshua Allah, right, unto our people, man. Therefore, we again, we have a bargain to, we have a, uh, you know, we have to live up our end of the bargain, as the old saying goes, right? We have a, a promise to fulfill, a covenant that was given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Don, Don, hey, segues right into uh, the next verse. Uh -huh. uh, second Ezra uh, 7 and 9. Okay, Con, Con, you know, I'm still, I'm going to hold that. Uh, and since the segue is good, uh, but I'm still going to hold with the brother, right? I posted in there. Uh, Second Ezra 7 and 9 says, If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he ever, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Woo, yapa. Yeah. Right, man. So, hi, what does it say? Uh, the, say? The brothers always say, right, you got to go through it to get to it. Mm -hmm. Right? You got to go through it to get to it, man. So, you no, know. But that, that inheritance, man, that, man, is part of that promise, man. Yep. But the Ottawa one has not forgotten that he is not uh, taken back, you know? Mm -hmm. That's an everlasting covenant that he has made with the seed of Jacob, man. Yep, God. That's right, man, the remnant, the seed of Jacob, right? Israel, Yasha Allah, right? All right, let me grab this, Khan. Yeah, let me grab this from the brother, Rayab and Salak, if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, Second Corinthians 4 and 7 says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us. That's God, right, man. Because yep. even though we're in these earthly vessels, we're able to receive part of that Holy Spirit, man, to uh, understand this word, man, and to receive the, the Spirit to uh, to take heed to it, man. Yep. And, but we know that we're, we're waiting for that spiritual body, man, mm -hmm. in order to uh, uh, get a full, uh, what does it say? Uh, to, uh, in order to, uh, you know, really get into that new covenant. Yep. Come on. That's right. Let's get into that uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 8. It says, continue on with that. It says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. That's right, man. So every side, right? You know, just like these damn devils are going to come in like a flood, as the scriptures speak of, right? Okay, the enemy shall come in like a flood. Right? But the Heavenly Father is going to make a way for our people to escape, right? He's going to make a way for our people to escape. Why? Because he has love for it. He has mercy upon his remnant, his elect, right? I believe that's spoken of in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59. In fact, here, let me, let me go ahead and try to pull that up real quick. I don't know if it's that. But also for his namesake, man. In order to show his, his divine power, man. Yep. You know? For all these uh, other nations, for everyone to see the deliverance of our people, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, gone. You know, just as he did to uh, our people through Egypt, man. Mm -hmm. Which it was uh, known throughout all the land. Yep. Uh, the power of our God. Gone. That's right. Man. This is uh, Isaiah 59 and verse 19. I'll just get straight to the point here. Actually, you know what? Woo. I'll start at 18. That is Isaiah 59 and 18. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries. Recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense, right? So these different lands, right? These different nations, our enemies, the 17 heathen nations that are upon the face of the earth, starting with Esau of Edom, right? The devil that the Bible speaks of, the wicked, is going to Malachi chapter 1 and many other scriptures. Continuing on in uh, Isaiah 59 and 19, so shall they fear the name of Adonai Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, which is in the east. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Adonai Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Right, and again, that term standard goes into a way of escaping, making a way to escape, right? Finish up here in, in verse 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith Adonai Yahweh. That's right, man. So turning from transgression, right? Okay. So going back to 2 Corinthians 4. And verse 9, again, we are persecuted, but not forsaken. Not forsaken, right? He will not forsake his elect remnant, right? He will not forsake us entirely, right? Now it says, 
persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body of dying of the of our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says Lord, you know Yahweh Shai, so like you. So again, in 2 Corinthians 4 and 10, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be manifest in our body. That's Woo, right. Yeah, so, I being partakers. Yep. Alongside his, his uh, sufferings. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Be partakers. And thus, we uh, uh, magnify the names of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, and that brings forth uh, what? Uh, a remembrance, right? That is a way of bringing forth that, uh, a way of, of a memorial, right? Okay? Uh, a monument, if you were going back to Zion, right? Zion. Okay? So again, man, that is a memorial. It's a way of, of showing that reverence toward our Lord and Savior, while our Heavenly Father, right? And the brother always posted up uh, Psalm 16 and 11. It says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Woo! What's that, man? Pleasures forevermore. Going back to those good things, right? Okay, at the right hand. Who's sitting at the right hand of the Heavenly Father? Yahweh Shai, right? So again, those things are promised to the remnant, the elect, right? The covenant, all right? Zion, uh, the water. Zebulon Guerrero, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Brakata. As well as uh, brother Los Hijos de Israel, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Brakata. So, right, brother posted up Isaiah 33 and 6. Beautiful. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, right? Because again, the st that term stability also goes into faith, right? So that'll be the faith of our times. And uh, shall be the stability of thy times. Because things are going to get very unstable. And again, and, how do I, and wisdom, but for the remnant, the elect, who are built on that foundation, right? They're going to trust in Yahweh Shai Mashiach through the powers of the Heavenly Father, man, right? And they shall not be moved, as the scriptures say. Again, Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of their times, and strength of salvation, the fear of Adawan Yahweh is his treasure. That's right, that's right. And uh, again, man, the fear of Adawan Yahweh, that's the instruction of wisdom. That's the beginning of wisdom, right? To fear our Lord and Savior through the powers of the Heavenly Father, man. Well, because, well, I should say fear the Heavenly Father, but ultimately, man, we fear not pleasing Adawan Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We fear not pleasing the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, right? Lest we be a, a reprobate, man, lest we be cast away, a reject, right? Okay? And so like it's like it. You want me to go back to that desert? Yeah, kind of. I'll go back to yeah, that. Go kind of. I'll go back to that second Ezra chapter seven and verse ten. That says, "And I said, it is so, Adawan Yahweh." Then he said unto me, "Even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sakes I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now is done." Right. That's so right, man. So uh, you know. Uh, this world was created for for our people, man. Yep. As it says, uh, and Second uh, Ezra six and fifty nine, if the world now be made for our sake, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? But we know that we're suffering now for our transgressions, man. Yep. You know, going back to uh, Adam. And eat in the garden, man. Yep. You know, God. him falling uh, away, man. And, and um... yep, absolutely. You know, ultimately Eve you knew with the transgression, and then Adam ultimately doing the same, right? God, God. And, they, and then be giving up to idolatry, you know, down the line, right? God, but that's uh, it's also when uh, right here in Second Peter two and four, for God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Yep. That's right. Because we are those angels beforehand, man. You know? Yep. But uh, Israel, the seed of Jacob, you know, being the, those angels, man, of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But through um, Adam sinned, man, and through Eve being cast into these chains of darkness, man. Yep. Uh, you know, being taken from those immortal bodies and being given these, these bodies of flesh, man, yep. that are subject to, to sickness, yep. to, to, to despair, to, to, to pain, man, and to death. God, it's, a, it's also, fast forward a little bit, but land back off that thought, 
That is the book of Jude. So it's one chapter, but the book of Jude, verse 5, that says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. Right? So a fourth time, right? Hey, how you doing? And again, though ye once knew this, right? So also speaking of that uh, that reincarnation, right? Okay? But like the ox said, going back to the, the, the elect, man, going back to the alakayim, right? The plural, which goes into powers, angels, judges, right? So again, man, those being a, a fourth time with Hamashiach Yahushua and the creations of the world, right? So continuing on, again, it says, uh, uh, Jude 1 and 5, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how the Ha'adawan Yahweh, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. Right, so in the wilderness, right? There were those disbelievers. There were those who were murmuring and backbiting and ultimately spent those years in the wilderness, right? And did not make it to see the Holy Land, right? Those that were found ultimately to be unfaithful, right? So continuing on now, it says in verse 6, here's the point though. It says, and the angels which kept not their first estate, right? And that term estate goes into also a, a domain, right? A certain power, right? That was that was allotted to them, right? Like, and that celestial body, that's right, man. Right? Yep, that's right, man. The everlasting mortality, man. Right? And again, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, which is a dwelling place, all right? He hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Woo! That's right, man. So we are drawing closer and closer to the great and terrible day that's of right. Adawan Yahweh Shinel Shah. That's right. Man. But we know after that day of judgment that all those things shall be restored, man. Yep. And that's why we hasten unto that day. Gone. Gone. That's right, man. We can, you know, leave these defiled bodies, man. This, this uh, defiled earth, man. Right? The filthy wickedness, man. So on and so forth. Right? All the atrocities. Khan, that, Khan. that our people are hey, continuously uh, subject to. a couple of precepts, Bob Rashad. Khan, Khan. Uh, Second Ezra 7 and verse 12 says, Then were the entrances of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. Ooh. That's right, man. So this world that we're living in now, man, and these bodies, these mortal bodies, man, the sufferings that we have to partake in, man, they are, uh, you know, they're full of anguish, man. Yup, kind of, again, full of sorrow and travail. Of course, travail going into labor pains of a woman, right? So grace, that sorrow and great pain, right, that our people feel being ultimately also subject to the curses of Deuteronomy God, chapter 28. God. And just like the, the old saying, you know, here in this life, in this world, we are, uh, the only things that are, are promised are, are death and taxes, man. God, God. Absolutely, hey, and that's the spirit. Just the other day, right? Listening to Marvin Gaye, Trouble Man, right? You know, the only three things in this world is guaranteed taxes, death, and trouble, right? Oh that's right, man. <laughs> that's hey, but we are looking for, for here, man, it says yep. the, the old ways, the ancient ways. Yep. It says uh, Second Ezra 7 and 13, for the entrances of the elder or greater world were wide and sure and brought immortal fruit. Woo! Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking to get back to, man. Yep, yep, con. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah, that's the spirit, man. Let me grab this out of the book of Jeremiah, chapter. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Let's get chapters, uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Adawan Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest. For your souls, so, rest for our souls, seeking those ancient paths, right? Seeking those old paths, the ways of our forefathers that were, that were sincerely, diligently hearkening to the ways of Yahweh Shemayashach, and that truly feared the Lord. They feared transgression, right? So on and so forth. They were, they were pleasing to Adam Yahweh Shemayashach. Now again, continuing on now, it says, but they said, we will not walk therein. Right, our people. Uh, you know, are very stubborn and hard-headed. You know, if you go into the book of Isaiah, you go to many scriptures that go into our people being stiff-necked, right? Going into, the, the, you know, our people murmuring, backbiting against Marsha, Moses in the wilderness, so on and so forth, right? Continuing on in verse 17, uh, Jeremiah 6 and 17. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet, right? Blowing this trumpet with alarm, right? Scriptures also speak of that, right? In times of war. Because there were uh, trumpets that were blown during times of feasts 
and there were trumpets that were they were blown with with, with alarm sound the trumpet with alarm which goes into a warning right a true warning all right now it says again but they said we will not hearken all right man so again man hey ultimately they aren't predestined from the foundation of the world man that's why this work is so important because the heavenly father he hasn't yet brought up about amos 8 and 11 but you see things that are aimed towards that you see these different policies that are being brought into to uh circulation right that are being brought through these different governmental bodies ultimately the the uh the the uh proposing of, of banning the holy scriptures right you know so on and so forth you see what's going on in france right they're looking to ultimately take down social media and, and the internet and so on and so forth man so through the spirit we feel like hey amos 8 and 11 is right around the corner right so with every day that the heavenly father has given us to do this work it's very much an opportunity to do it because the elect the remnant are still in the process of being sealed therefore we have a job to do we must we must consider those things as the book of Haggai chapter 1 goes into consider your ways right and that's stated twice Haggai 1 and 5 Haggai 1 and 7 right therefore consider your ways all right so we must consider that man and know that we are that much closer to the end I don't want to run this out man therefore keep fighting the good fight right you want to go ahead and uh pull up uh second edge is 14 you can start at uh 13. Um, second edge is four and this is what we need to uh really the mindset that all of us are, are really needing to uh tap into man yep you know having that that spirit of uh of a good soldier man enduring all hardness man mm -hmm. done because we know coming down at that, that final lap here man you know that last leg this is where the it's gonna be the, the hardest, man. Yep. You know, we're gonna need that most uh, uh, endurance, man. We're really gonna need to to really focus in on this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we know that the, this damn devil, man, he's gonna pull out all, all the all the things he has, man. He's gonna empty out his whole bag to try to take down our people, man. Yep. Absolutely, man. He's gonna let. You know what I mean? Just as these other guys of the scripture say, spare no arrows, right? Mm -hmm. So Esau of Edom, man, these devils here in Babylon, they ain't gonna let. They're going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at us, as the scriptures say, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, in uh, Isaiah 42 and 22 from the brother Zebulon Guerrero, uh, it says, uh, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, right? They are trapped there. You're going about and being snared uh, ultimately by the fowler, by that cunning hunter being Esau of Edom. Now it says, and they are hid in prison houses, right? Because we are prisoners of hope. Uh, we are held captive, right? It says, they are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. Right, because they're like, reparations. Yeah, 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 we ain't, we ain't with that. Yeah, they, they, ain't, they ain't no way trying to restore what, what, what was taken from our people, man. That is absolutely impossible. And ultimately, we don't want that. We want a righteous kingdom. We want those crowns I don't not desire for the elect men. And, and also, we want the remnant, the elect, to be given that, that uh, election, man, salvation. We want the kingdom to come, man. We want all the 17 heathen nations to go into chains and fetters of iron, man, and to ultimately be put into subjection under our Lord and Savior, Mashiach Yahushai. That is righteous recompense. Thus saith the one, y'all, Bashim Yahushai. Right? That's what we want, man. We ain't looking for anything of a temporal carnal sense here in this, in this wicked-ass queendom. Jeremiah 50 and 7. All that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries said, We offend not. Right? Oh, it wasn't me. Oh, that was my forefathers. Oh, that wasn't me. I love everybody. Oh, God is love. Right? They trying to put it on everyone and, and have no accountability whatsoever, right? So, you know, it says, because they have sinned against Adawan Yahweh, the habitation of justice, even Adawan Yahweh, the hope of their fathers, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Yeah, exactly, man, because they are dying in the streets, man, being hung on trees, man, being tossed over, over slave ships, man, fed to alligators, man, you name it, man. Yeah, our man, shooting Jake down in the streets, man, for yep. all the other nations to, to hit that, man, yep. to uh, talk shit, yep. you know? Con. Just like that goddamn devil who choked out that, uh, I forget his name, but New York, right? Uh, Gardner. Yeah, 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 that Eric damn Gardner. devil. Yeah, he yeah. freaking choked out, you know, what appeared to be a Jake, right, out there on the subway. And he, 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 there he goes getting millions of dollars, just like that goddamn oh, devil God, Rittenhouse, God. Kyle Rittenhouse, right? Yeah, Same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. They sing a sob story and they fucking raise millions upon millions of dollars for their, their uh, defense, right? Then they get they get let off the hook, man. Well, righteous recompense is coming, man. I don't want to stop. All right.
go ahead and close out with uh, Second Nation Sports Hey, Shalom. Well, that's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. That's right, man. Isaiah, uh, Zaki, Second Nation, chapter 14, and verse 13. Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So renounce corruption, renounce these mortal thoughts, right? Okay, we have to forego the ways of the flesh and the ways of this world, especially more so here in these latter days, right? You know, you see to everyone trying to come up with a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, this and that, talking about going traveling here, blah, 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 not having any idea whatsoever what's really taking place on the earth. And now it's high time to wake up out of uh, sleep, man, All right. to repent for the kingdom of Yahweh and Yahweh is at hand, man. Yep. Exactly, they're in the house of mercy spirit, you know, very much so, man. They're living their lives and, and they, they ain't thinking anything, they ain't staying kingdom minded, right? Point blank period, but that's all right, because again, this is for a few, right? This is for the remnant of the elect, all right? Point blank period. This is for the believers. And again, going back to 2nd Ezra 14, and, you know, and just going back to that point in 14 and 13, set thine house in order and repro reprove thy people. You know, that also is twofold in the sense that, yeah, we, we can still offer rebuke, man, reproof, man, correction to our people and still fish for the elect, fish for the remnant in all sincerity, right? And also your own very, your own house, right? Okay? That of your, if, if you're married, you have a woman, you have children, right? So on and so forth, man. Okay? So again, trying your very best to do so. But at the end of the day, you know, whatever the Heavenly Father wills, that will be done. Continuing on in 2nd Ezra 14 and 14. <laughs> Let go! From the immortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. So, man, this weak body, this, <coughs> this weak flesh. That's right? right. Okay, hey, Shalom. Again, put that off, man, right? So these things that are pertaining to this life, this this incarnation, right? This is all temporal, this is all temporary, right? So again, put off that man, that weak nature. Fine, like I said. Uh, just like Yahweh Shai ordered, man, to endure hardness as a good soldier. Because yep. right now, when you're at war, you don't have time to think about that, man. Yep. Yeah. Gone. Yep. Exactly. What's that in uh, the movie uh, Dead Presidents, right? God. I don't think about the world skip. So, because the minute I do, that shit will get you killed out here, man. That's the right. minute I do, I'm a fucking dead man. Right? right. Roughly paraphrasing that. Dead Presidents. Mm -hmm. Right. Good movie. Continuing on now in uh, Second Ezra 14 and 15. Now it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee. Right? To haste thee, to quickly, to quickly do so, right? To Okay, so many of the prophets still here today, man, but we're we're here to see the, the, the greatest evil, man. The evil that the world has never seen, you know, at its, at its highest uh, climax, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep, right, gone. Man. That's so, right, man. Again, we're seeing those greater evils manifest in the earth. All praises to the Al-Bashim El Shai. Again, earthquakes in the diverse places. Wars and rumors of wars. Pestilences, right? Evils, man. Mass death, man. You know, you just have that over, was that, uh, Baltimore? Right? Shooting of like 30 people got shot, right? And I believe two got deleted, 28 wounded, right? So, I mean, those that's just one example, right? Still continuing to see trail, train derailment. Excuse me, so, so we know we're, we're at the end here, man. Yep, and again, so, the uproars of the people. Oh man, these these governments, man. Hey, they're what they're they're gonna be coming down with that martial law, and it's gonna get heavy, heavy, heavy. That's right. Right. So we so, need to continue to yep. pray more and more so for the the spirit of yes. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. God, yeah, that strong spirit to to stay focused, man, on, on the kingdom minded things, you yep. know, things right, of the heavens, man. Kingdom minded, and, and man. Flee and flee this world, man. That's right, man. Kingdom minded, that that mm -hmm. pre chariot mindset, right. right? As the as the brothers in the GMS Mississippi camp going to, right? A pre chariot mindset. <clears throat> That's right, man. Kingdom minded, right, baby. Man. That's mm -hmm. right, man. So check the board one more time and then we'll, we'll let the brother Banal here close us out and bring us home, man. Yep, yep. Now let's get this from the brother. Post it up. Uh, Psalm, brother Zebulon Guerrero, six, Psalm 68 and 13. Though ye have lit, uh, Salakia, though ye have lain among the, lying among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold Woo! that's fire the water bro yeah absolutely man right that salvation man those chariots man the elect be going up in those heavenly vessels man right the vessels of the holy angels right mm -hmm. okay being beamed up man being saved being given that salvation 
prior to the destruction of Babylon America, man. That's right. right? So how beautiful is that, man? That promise. That's right. All right. right. That's right. He called and, and meeting up the Lord in the air, man. Yep. That's yeah, right, man. All the All the, the sincere Akim and Akiwa be of that number, man. God, you want to talk about Willie Walker and the golden ticket, man? Hey, that's that truth. That's that right. real ticket we're trying to punch. Right. All right. So Lord's will, man. Lord's will. All right. Hey, Shalom. Is that the brother Kwanawa? Oh, uh, yep, yep, brother Kwanawa, hey, hey, y'all about yeah, Shai Brakata. Ah, to you and the beautiful brothers right there, Baba Gisha, check the brother out, Kwanawa, and Mayan Lab 144. Beautiful brothers out there laboring in, in uh, NYC, out there in New York City, doing a mighty work. So, Shalom, beloved, y'all about Shai Brakata, to you and, and all the brothers, man, all right? Peace and right. many blessings, Barakim Tamyad, to all of you beautiful brothers and sisters that may have tuned in, and the water for the brothers that added precepts and, and uh, Lord's will. The water for you know? adding on to the edification, that's right. Man, that's a, uh, that's, that's, the spirit, the spirit, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. I can't call a lot of y'all about to be all shy, man. Uh, that's we even read that precept <laughs> earlier in the lesson. Hey, here, the man. spirit. I'll read, I'll read one more time. Spirit wants to, wants to come out. St. John 10 and 1. Barely, barely. I mean, truly, truly, I say it to you. He that entereth not by the door into the ship and the, to the sheepfold and climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Woo! Sounds so nice, you gotta say it twice, man. That's, that's right, the spirit man. of y'all by right. y'all shot working, man. That's right. That's man. the spirit. The that's spirit's right. working heavy. The spirit is working heavy, Akia, man. Right. Akia, right. brothers and sisters, man. We entering, it's a very spiritual time, man. All right, because this battle is getting, is a spiritual battle is getting heavy. And uh, I don't know what to say, Lord's will. You brothers, you sincere, diligent brothers that are out there preaching and teaching the word continue to increase. I don't know what to say, Lord's will. All right. all right, and then for all the brothers and sisters that your, your faith continue to wax stronger. All right. Absolutely. So, so hey, the water, I give them for the precepts, mm -hmm. adding on to the edification, and the water for all the brothers and sisters that may have tuned in. <laughs> you know, y'all bash him, y'all shot, Barack and Thumb. Shalom to you in your households. That's right. Shalom. Right. We would like to close out by giving all honor, glory, and praise unto our power. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakat, Rakat. And once again, double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Shalom to the like-minded elders and brothers teaching in truth and sincerity mm -hmm. bringing this this word across all four winds preaching unto the ends of the earth yep. and shalom to the hopeful elect the brothers and sisters that believe calling on the names of Yahweh Shem Yahushai unto salvation and for deliverance man. that's right that's right blessings always that's right so we'd like to close out throw a curse upon this place above the ball DTA so that's right shalom right. shalom Shalom, shalom. Until the next time, I don't know. You are appreciated. Shalom.